Thank you all. If your weekend plans include getting outside and working on the lawn, we have some expert advice this afternoon from a researcher at Oregon State University. Alec Kovaleski has some help for those of you who have maybe thin or bare patches in the lawn. Maybe you need to think about reseeding a little bit, Alec. So you're going to talk about this because you're a turf grass specialist. So tell us exactly how do you even go about picking the right kind of seed? Okay, so spring is a great time to thicken up your lawn with new seed. If you have a lawn that's irrigated and sunny, you should pick perennial ryegrass. If you have a lawn that is not irrigated, you should use tall fescue. And if you have a lawn that's shady and irrigated, you should use fine fescue seed. And what is the seed there you have there This today? here is perennial ryegrass. Is this a piece of your lawn? Because it looks pretty healthy. <laughs> it looks pretty <laughs> green <laughs> today. <impressed, laughs> I wish my lawn looked like this. <laughs> so there's a couple tests you can do, for example, deciding whether to water the lawn. Show sure. us what you do with the screwdriver. Okay, so you should be watering about three times a week at a quarter of an inch. Uh, go out in between the irrigation events, push a screwdriver down into the soil. If the screwdriver does not push into the soil, it's time to irrigate again. I want to know how often or, or when you're going to start watering your lawn, because I'm going to do what he does to yeah. his lawn. So uh, <laughs> before uh, Memorial Day here is time to start watering. After we get past Memorial Day, you definitely need to be watering a couple times a week. A couple times a week, yep. but the screwdriver yep. test, a good one. And how about the ruler? What do you use that for? Okay, so when you're mowing your lawn, you should uh, mow it at least once a week. And ideally here, you're going to come out when the grass is three inches and you're going to mow it back down to two inches. Okay, so, so let's keep the, it at the two inches. Right, we're trying to check the mowing height and keep it between this two to three inches, mowing it back down to two How inches. How about tips on actually seeding your grass? Because I do have some big patches. That's on our to-do list yeah. is to go out. What's the best practice when it comes to prepping those, you know, dirt mounds or dirt patches and then actually applying the seed. Sure, I would take a spring rake and uh, come through and rake the uh, bare or thin areas. Just kind of a light raking, no need yep. to do like heavy yep. duty work. You want to expose a little bit of the soil so when you add the seed it makes contact with the soil. That'll help improve germination. And do I need to add other soil out there, the dirt that's there is already I would good. not add soil, but okay. I would fertilize at the same time that you're putting the seed down. It'll okay. help with establishment. I just got to keep right, the basic, dogs out One of there. last basic question from me because you can tell I've never done this before. Do you just see the bad patches or you do the whole lawn? Just focus on I the, bad, ask the, patches. the <laughs> bad patches. Yeah. Okay, well, no. then that's not too much work. Tips on keeping my dogs out of there is the next. Uh, <laughs> good luck. I don't have a tip for you. Thanks, that. Alec, for that. All right, turf grass specialist, Oregon State University. Thanks. Hey, yep. go Beavs. Go Beavs. I love that they have <laughs> a turf machine, right? grass major down there. I, I love it. Hey,